a little cool thing that we're going to do today is uh, sort of, I guess, supplement the stream. So what we're going to do is show off some cool technology that uh, that we showcased there and stuff we really didn't to sort of show off some get Saturn peripherals, some games maybe. We'll figure that out, but uh, why don't we start off right now with, of course, the famous... Ah, here we go. The Satiator. You guys know this you guys love it you guys hate it i don't know i love it hopefully you guys love it too i think it's cute so just you just don't know uh professor abrasive uh made a video about 2016 i believe called uh sega saturn cracked after 20 no he participated he didn't film anyways but he made the video or didn't make a video he was in the video i'm gonna keep saying he made the video and showed off this really cool little cartridge device that slides into the back of the saturn and you can boot games from it and uh, it took a few years, but we finally got it. Uh, beginning of uh, 2021, Saturn Dave and I got it. As you can see, it's a cool little device. I'll put it close to the camera so you guys can see it. Uh, it's a shader. It's like a little, little. I guess, closest thing I can think of is a flash cart that you put into the back of your system. Just pop up a little SD card in there. Let's put in here. Got a little cool uh, connection cable. On the bottom here, you can hook up a USB, load games onto it if you really want to. Uh, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good little tool. We did a little video on that uh, beginning of 2021. Me and me and Pandemonium, Mr. Nick, Nick Broadway, Scars on Broadway, best band ever. But uh, anyways, I like a lot of it. The only issue I have with it is that it has a, it doesn't quite have a beveled edge to it. So I know there's been a little, a lot of controversy with that in the recent, uh, recent stuff online. And uh, that's my only common problem with it. We don't know the durability. Of the Saturn, uh, the Saturn VCD port, so we don't know if this will not be an issue with it or it'll be an issue with it. So we don't, uh, we sadly do not know as of yet, but hopefully we'll uh, learn in the future, and hopefully it'll be very durable. If not, well, uh, yikes! Uh, sorry about that, guys. Destroyed Saturn, but uh, yeah, I think my favorite part of it is just the cool little box with it. I mean, look at it; it's that's cute. Cuteness alone worth two hundred and fifty dollars. Probably not, but yeah, the device is about 250 It is on the more expensive side of the ODEs, but in my opinion, I think it was worth it. Worth the money for the ease the ease of transferring around, ease of bringing it. So uh, I think it's very useful. The only issue that we had before is, of course, the bevel edges and the fact that the it will disable your VCD card, so you're not able to watch VCDs or... Um, or play VC supported games, but uh, maybe that might change, maybe that not. But uh, I mean, good trade to have a little handle. I mean, it's a little good trade off. No VCD support, but got got a little handle, just dangle it around to and fro like that. You know, fun, fun stuff, fun stuff, guys. Satiator, get one, don't get one, whatever you think, you do. And anyways, great, great, great device, in my opinion. But the next one, it's gonna be a weird, weird show off. So. <laughs> If it is kind of weird, just let me know. The mode. Uh, you might think, what happened to the box, Patrick? Uh, I threw it away because it took up too much space. Or did I lose it? I can't remember. One, one, of, the, one of the two, one of the two. But anyways, the Terra Onion mode, a ODE for the Dreamcast, or the Dreamcast and the Saturn. So you get two in one, throw it in what you want. And now it's three in one because they just announced the PS... One is going to be amazing. So I mean, so the PS1 support's going to be amazing. So you got three consoles. A little bit more needs some soldering work for that, but I mean, what you're going to do? Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Like I said, 100% compatibility with Saturn and the Dreamcast uh, supports S right there. Got the good stuff. Supports flash stick, SS or. Uh, SD card and SSD or HDD so if you want to put a hard drive in there you can and do it cheaper because that's what I did but a one terabyte SSD for I think it was like a 90 something dollars compared to if I already had SSD SD card that'd be about 200 and something dollars so saves a good amount of change a little bit more cool looking I have it in my Dreamcast over there I would tear it apart and show it to you but uh, I don't think we have time for that as much as you guys if you guys really want to see it let me know I can tear into that and figure that out, but uh, yeah, so definitely uh, this. I think it's on the. This was released in what year was it? Uh, I think late, earlier, late 2020. I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, this was a really useful device at the time. 
Saturn Dave put his in his Saturn. I had mine in my Dreamcast. But after we got the Satiator, it got migrated to our Dreamcast. So it is the ultimate, in my opinion, Dreamcast solution. I know there's a GDE MU for that, but I wasn't really a big fan of it, to be honest with you. Uh, I think there's a lot of issues with it that I have. But uh, besides that, I think this is a great option. Very versatile. A lot of compatibility with it. 100% compatibility. And they have a lot of options, like for... Um, it's like enough. Uh, like the, uh, the, the games for that one arcade board, the Thomas Wave games, Thomas Wave games, that's it. A lot of support for that, so that's really cool. Uh, a lot of cool, uh, I think some people are starting to support Niobe stuff, I think. I don't know off the top of my head, but I know that was an option people are looking into, but yeah, the supports, like, uh, the, all those Thomas Wave games, and it's actually better than actually playing on your Naomi, so, uh, yeah, so it's a really good option. Uh, seeing some people want to see my Dreamcast with it in there, so give me a second, I'll have to unhook something real quick. Alrighty, since you guys asked and demanded, I shall show you my Dreamcast. This is my Dreamcast with the, the, uh, Terra Onion mode in it. Let me just, uh, just take this cover off, as long as I don't drop it on the floor. Can I do this one-handed? I can do it one-handed. I, or no, I can't do it one-handed. Or can I do it one-handed? Yep, I did it one-handed. So, here you go, here's my mode in the Dreamcast, and a little nice SSD. Just want to take it out, it's like, oh, I'm pulling out the right direction. No, that wasn't the right direction. You're gonna pull it like that, bam, out of the system. Perfect, perfect. Want it back in there, bam, like that, like that, perfect. This is my modeling hands. What do you guys think? Who's uh, who do you think has better hands, the Adam Korolik or me? Uh, post in the chat. Let me know whose hands are the better hands. Uh, ones in chat for me, twos for Adam. You know. Uh, let me know. But yeah, this is really cool. I just keep the cover off because I open it up every five seconds to replace the game. So that is why I don't have the screws in because it is useless to me. And opening this up, it's like useless because all it is, damn, or bam, just a little hole for the thing and I can't do anything with it. So useless. Useless. But no, a uh, really great device. Ha wholeheartedly recommend if you don't have one, go buy one for your Dreamcast. Saturn, uh, there's a lot of other options for it. Uh, I think it's really good for the Saturn, though. Um, like I said, I think my, my personal opinion is Satiator and the Saturn. Uh, get the SD. I, might actually, I probably could have done that, but I didn't. Uh, uh, yeah, like I said, um, like I said, I think it's a better option just to get the... What was it? Uh, get sa Satiator for the Saturn and put your mode in a Dreamcast. Take a little swig there. I feel like I'm the Home Shopping Network. What do you guys think? Home Shopping Network confirmed? Deconfirmed? What do you guys think? I think Home Shopping Network confirmed, though. But that's that's my opinion. Actually, uh, Pat. What? What's up? Uh, oh, sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I, I joined in late. I was at work, and I tried to rush here to, to get on. Uh, if yeah. I may, can I opine on some of the earlier uh, items that you were talking about? No. Anyway, so the uh. next... No, I'm just joking. What's up? What do you have <laughs> comments on? Okay, so uh, on your discussion on the ODEs, uh, you're talking about the Sediator and uh, the mode. Uh, I think the Fenrir uh, should yep. also be discussed as, as the third option. I believe it's the cheapest option to get in. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I just did describe them because I didn't have them, but we can describe them. Yeah, I, yeah. You want to talk about them a little bit? So, so uh, I, I personally have a Sediator because uh, I, I was backing the prototype. Um, I, I know that uh, Sed is a SX member and uh, he's active in the community. And obviously he made the Fenrir. I believe uh, at first it was limited to the 20-pin Saturn, but I think also the 21-pin Saturn is now supported. So anyone with a Saturn should be able to get a Fenrir. And it should be cheaper than both the mode and the Sediator. Um, For sure. Yeah. Uh, for the Dreamcast ODEs, I know the mode is uh, supporting uh, uh, Saturn, Dreamcast, and potentially, I guess, PSX. I thought that was already out, but I don't know if that's finalized yet. I don't um, know. I, I heard that it was, but I don't know. I don't know in what capacity yet. Because I've honestly, I haven't really been paying attention because if it's not the Saturn, it ain't nothing to me. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yes, it is out. Oh. See? Sorry? Oh, it you is out? You can get it for PS. Yeah, it's like a separate little board that goes along with it but yeah it is available for some i don't know if it's on back order or what but i do know a couple people that do have it okay so basically nice. every psx ode is going to require you to do some soldering at least a little bit i'm not aware of anyone that doesn't i have a psio personally but as far as the dreamcast is concerned uh there is the gdmu uh which is impossible to get an official version of because the guy makes like five every 10 years or something like that just, just and get it's very just get difficult to get a hold of 
Uh, you can get a million Chinese clones. I don't support getting clones of something that's actively in development. However, the USB GD ROM is available and boasts maximum compatibility. I don't know if the mode has the same amount of compatibility as the USB GD ROM, but that would that is what I would consider the gold standard for Dreamcast ODEs. I've heard um I've heard from uh, Tom from the Dreamcast Junker that he had some issues playing some of the 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 um the the Atomus Wave translations on his, but that could have been something that might have just been a fluke on his end. Not throwing Tom under the bus, but I'm throwing Tom under the bus. Sorry, Tom. So I as, love as, you. as far as I could tell, USB GD ROM was supposed to have uh, uh, better compatibility than the GDMU, and the GDMU was essentially what everyone was uh, copying when they're cloning stuff. Um, as far as what the mode has, again, I don't have a mode, so I can't say, and I don't know if they have, have a published compatibility list. But uh, yeah, there there are other options, and some of them are cheaper than others. Uh, I believe that you know the cheapest thing you can get for the Dreamcast is a clone GDMU. Uh, if you don't, if you want to actually support someone. I think it's easier and cheaper to get the USB GD ROM than the GDMU, and I believe the mode and the, G the USB GD ROM should be similar in price. If I recall correctly, USB GD ROM was like 120 when I bought it with shipping. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, if if it's if the same price for the mode, I might just go for the mode, just in case I have second thoughts. But that's just my opinion. There might be different use cases for getting the GD EMU. But yeah, I heard people in the comments saying that sometimes the clone GMUs can brick your system if you update it. So yeah, don't yeah. don't do that. That's a highly not recommended. Firmware. Yeah. So so they're, so they're, they, he uh, the the guy that makes GDMU. I, I always forget his name. I don't know if it's Duonin or, or something like that. But, yeah. Uh, he used to release his firmware. He he kind of locked that down pretty tight, which uh, some people have opinions on. I personally can understand it. I just I don't like the way he does business, but I can understand not wanting to share your firmware if it's a problem like that. Um, so the Chinese clones are based on his last public firmware. And his new firmwares are supporting an updated version of the hardware. Interesting. I feel you. Yeah, but uh, yeah, definitely be buyer beware on that. Uh, in my opinion, like I said, uh, go official or get a mode. Whatever one works. I know people have different preferences, but I mean, I think I think unlike the Raya, which has some issues with some of the file formats, I think the GD AMU is pretty pretty much just GD. Is is it supports CDI and like the G, the 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 GD ROM files, right? Yeah, well, my my USB GD ROM supports GDI and CDI files. Uh, that's I don't it. Know Sorry, that's what I meant. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot to mention for the Saturn, the the original ODEs would be the Phoebe and the Rhea, depending on what version of the Saturn you have. But mm -hmm. obviously, um, availability problems with uh, everything related to GDMU are what they are. 